Hi guys. So um, I tested positive for COVID-19 yesterday, which was June 22nd, 2022, and uh, so this is my day in quarantine. So I've decided to show you what I'm doing in quarantine and how I am spending my days over here. So since I tested positive yesterday um, and my symptoms had started coming day before yesterday, which is on Tuesday and yesterday also Wednesday. So today is like the third day of uh, my symptoms and I am in a hotel room right now wherein we have been shifted when I have been shifted for the isolation due to the rules in the area that I live. So until I test negative I will be staying here in isolation and yes watch me in quarantine. My day starts with a glass of water as always. I have not been able to sleep well. It was just another night of tossing and turning because my sleep schedule has actually been impacted a lot due to the feeling of not being well. So anyway, uh, it's, it's morning, I wake up, I have my water and I go to brush my teeth, freshen up and the breakfast is already here. So here in quarantine, there is a set pre uh, it is like a customized predefined meals which are there which have been set by the COVID committee and the hotel so we get breakfast in the morning at 7 7:30 a.m and then lunch at around 2 around 2 is 1 30 p.m and then there is dinner at around 8 30 or 9 p.m and it's all veg food. The menu is already de decided by them. So, and it's proper, homely, good food. The food is very delicious, no doubt. Even though now my sense of taste and smell has gone away, but initially I could taste food. So, I know that food is delicious and it's warm, it's good, healthy, hygienic, which is very important. So, because I did not wake up at 7.30, I just took the breakfast and kept it and you also have tea. Uh, I usually just have the tea because it's hot and it would run cold later and there's no microwave here in the room. So I just had tea and sometimes I have breakfast but today I could not so I just ate. I just kept it and slept and now I'm going to have it after my I am freshened up. There's upma for breakfast today. Uh, it's good. I have ordered for extra tea because that one is cold now. And after my breakfast, I am going to just go outside like in the balcony so luckily there is a balcony in the hotel room 
so i can get some sunlight and also see some movement happening outside and see different faces walking on the road or vehicles on the road so when you are in isolation it becomes very very difficult for you to keep in touch with reality and know that there is a life outside the room that you are in and it's good it's normal everything is normal outside you need to have that reassurance every now and then and obviously sunlight is very very important for you to recover recover from covid or even just like that it is a very important element of your life so i am just going to sit outside take in some sunlight look at people going about their daily lives and just feel try to feel normal try to feel that everything is normal and after about 30 minutes or sometimes an hour of soaking in sunlight and watching people i am going to come inside i uh, i come inside and decide to take a nap or just watch some television whatever my mind feels like at the moment and then there is always netflix so since i am not working right now due to covid um i will watch some shows on netflix right now i'm watching who killed sara and it is a very very exciting show to watch i am loving how it has a lot of twists and turns and on season 2 right now and this is actually keeping me quite excited and hooked so it's a very good stress buster for me so yeah have you seen the show what are you watching currently let me know in the comment section below and if you have seen who kills sara please don't give me any spoilers right now uh please don't i i don't want them and uh, but let me know how do how did you like it if you have seen it or what are you watching right now let me know it's time for lunch there is a knock on the door and i open the door and take in the lunch what is there for lunch let's see mm it is some rice dal we have a sabzi this is paneer sabzi and <coughs> there is some salad ah oh, and we also have some roti and there is another sabzi also nice i think it's karela Oh, but it's good for health so oh uh, yeah i am going to eat this now so one of the major symptoms that happens during covid or is happening to me i don't know is the loss of appetite so i don't feel very hungry so i won't be able to finish everything even though the quantity is quite less and which is good but still i only have it half and the rice i'll have i think half and rest i don't think i'll be able to complete even half uh but i'll have salad so yeah the food is good um that's the best part after lunch i am going to watch some television i am watching fox tv a lot because it helps me you know travel virtually because i cannot even step out of the room right now but i can always visit through the screens right so fox tv is a blessing in disguise i just love this channel so much <sighs> after my tv viewing i'm going to return back to netflix and it's the evening right now i am going to order some tea again and 
if I am hungry enough, I will order something else from the menu. I mean, you can order something else from the menu. There are non-veg items as well. But I try to keep that to a minimum, like once in two days or once in three days. Uh, that's because I don't want to overwhelm my body with too much of you know spicy food or all of that. I usually order some chicken because I want some proteins also in my body. But otherwise, I just make do with the predefined meals that they have. So, yes, I'll order some tea today and that's it. I'm not very hungry right now. I have a lot of medicines which have been given by the doctor so I'll have medicine before I have my lunch and then after lunch I will have some more medicines so yeah the same thing continues throughout the day before food after food and I will also make some lemon water or order some but I have a lot of lemons so I'll just make some lemon water in the room and half later probably so yes uh, it's time for dinner again food has arrived and again there is the same dal sabzi roti rice salad the sabzis keep changing but rice roti dal salad is something that's um that remains constant and that's good in a way because dal rice is something that everybody likes to have and uh, at least something should be a comfort food right if in case you do not like the sabzis etc so yeah i'm going to just eat this now how much ever i can and then probably watch some more netflix and or some videos on youtube and edit some videos that I have shot earlier so that you guys can see and and then I'll sleep tomorrow the same cycle continues and this will continue for the next seven days at least so yeah I hope you liked uh, my video of a day in quarantine so this is my first time getting tested positive for COVID-19. So I've survived through the first wave, second wave, third wave, and now on the fourth wave. I just got it. I didn't even see this coming. But they say what is uh, going to happen will happen. So yeah, as of now, my symptoms are... Uh, has started coming in so it's just day two day three i so i don't want to comment on whether it's mild or not or what uh right now i have fever cough cold headache fatigue and the general feeling of being miserable because you're staying isolated and that's that's there now let's see what happens in the days to come i have uh, the oxygen levels are fine right now and the fever is also not too much it's there but not much so let's see and yes if you want me to create a video on um my covid experience like in the sense the symptoms and um, how am i taking care of it and what is the fourth wave covid like and all of that then let me know i will do that and also let me know if you have any questions regarding covid regarding quarantine regarding how to stay safe in quarantine or anything around the fourth wave then or anything around testing quality for the first time and all of that then let me know in the comment section below and i'll make a separate video on that so now i'll see you again in the next video Till then, as always, take care, stay safe, wear a mask, please, and stay hydrated. So, see you again. Thank you. Take care.